السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس ٹوڈے ایز پارٹ آف نور سینٹر وچ از مسجد اینڈ نور ان ویسلی چیپل ایجوکیشن سیریز وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ انڈرسٹینڈ اینڈ اوور کم ڈپریشن ایس یو آل نو وی آل گو تھرو دا ٹف ٹائمس آف کووڈ نائنٹین اینڈ دا کورونا اینڈ موسٹ آف دس آر گوئنگ تھرو ہارڈ شپ سم آر ویری فارچونیٹ بلیسڈ Uh, and we are uh, in better situation but lot of others are going through hard uh, times so our this is a small effort to educate and uh, help people and we hope this will bring some kind of knowledge and it will also aid others to help who are going through a uh, trouble times we will start this program with the quran recitation by brother rashid اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لله ما في السماوات وما في الارض وان تبدوا ما في انفسكم او تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فَيَغْفِرُ لِمَن يَشَاءُ وَيُعَذِّبُ مَن يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ آمَنَ الرَّسُولُ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْهِ مِن رَّبِّهِ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين to God alone belongs whatever whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth whether you reveal what it what is in your hearts or conceal it God will call you to account for it he forgives whoever he wills and he punishes whoever he wills and God is most capable of everything the messenger firmly believes in all of what has been revealed to him from his Lord and And so do the believers. They all believe in his God, his angels, his books, and his messengers. They proclaim, we make no distinction between any of his messengers. And they say, we hear and obey. We seek your forgiveness, our Lord. And to you alone is the final return. God does not require of any soul more than what it can afford. All God will be for its own benefit. And all evil will be to its own loss. The believers pray, Our Lord, do not punish us if we forget to make a mistake. Our Lord, do not place a burden on us like the one you placed on the on those before us. Our Lord, do not burn, burden us with what we cannot bear. Pardon us, forgive us, and have mercy on us. You are our only guardian, so grant us victory over the disbelieving people. Thank you, Brother Rashid. I, okay, so as you'll be seeing the slide and we have so uh, nice individuals who stepped up to do this program. So let me introduce them. The main speaker is Muhammad Fazil. He's a doctor and he's working as an assistant professor of social work, National College, Trivandrum, India. So Trivandrum, you might have heard it's a southern state of India. India, it's in Kerala. And he's also working as a faculty 
at Life Engineering Academy, Malapuram, and he has over nine years in training and development field. Also, we have like two wonderful sisters to do the sign language interpretation. The first one is Saras Saralta. She is a community sign language interpreter in the Tampa Bay area and a USF alumni. And you are seeing her on the screen. And the next interpreter who will be joining us will be Balbina. She is an ASL interpreter in the Chicago area and a Grinnell College alumni. Her services today are sponsored by Mohsin. With no delay, let us go for this program. Thank you. And hope you'll all enjoy this. Yes. Thank you, Shanava, sir, and Khada, sir, and all the uh, crew are for developing and for this initiative. Alhamdulillah. So very uh, privileged to be here. So today we are actually having a uh, discussion together that how this uh, we can overcome. Uh, first, we have to understand and overcome depression. We know depression is a, like a very uh, non uh, word and it is very much uh, deep inside have a negative thing. When a person is uh, hearing about depression itself, he is telling, no, no, I am not depressed. He is not ready to accept it. So. Now we just have a uh, talk of that and we will discuss later about the uh, things which is uh, on the going that what are the types and how we can identify depression. Maybe it, is, it, will, it won't be for us, maybe for our fellow beings or for the people or for the colleagues or for the family or for the, our children. Okay, so Allah make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this uh, unity, makes this uh, get together a, an accepted one. So very good evening to all. I, I welcome all of you for this session. So now the, we will go for the what is about the depression. So depression is uh, feeling sad. OK, uh, we are like just more than feeling is sad. If we are sad, we won't tell them that he is a depressed person. OK, but it, the, the sadness is affecting his th thinking, his feeling, his behavior. Then we will say that something is wrong with him he is not okay okay being sad is okay but being too sad some some problem is going on there and you know depression is not for the adults or for the old age people okay according, according to the psychologists about the research and study we can understand that this can happen to anybody it's a mood disorder okay and uh, it has many types Okay, it will it will like go on start from the children itself. Children, it can affect the teenagers, adults. Uh, it can affect the old age in the name of geriatric depression. Whatever the things, it may happen because of some events or may cause of some situation. Okay, two things, maybe of some events or some situation, and he has not accepted uh, before it. Okay, have, or have some problem to accept that situation. Okay, so we will take this as a positive way to know this. Uh, we are not telling or making you fear about the depression. It's like we should understand what the knowledge is very much important. So we should know what is what what, what are the types of the depression or the classification. Three uh, things are classified as mild, moderate, and major. Okay, so mild depression is like this just a feeling or feeling sad and uh, it will go on days, maybe for five days or the four, four, five, four to five days. And uh, it will, uh, it won't interfere with your usual activities or hobbies. But if it is not cared properly, as like a wound, if it is not cared properly, it will cause some infection, isn't it? Same thing will happen with the moderate depression. If it is not attended, if it is not addressed, then it will go to the next level. And we can know that we can diagnose it that my child or my daughter, she is not fine. My colleague, how he was very much enthusiastic. Now he is not going fine. Some problem is going on. He is not having that such activity or such enthusiasm. Major depression, may Allah safeguard us. It is like an usual activities. It will affect the usual activities which you are doing. Making the your cooking, maybe the reading, or maybe you are a good artist. And you have no have no uh, interest to do this one. 
you are a professional speaker you do, you are not coming up for the uh, speaking or taking sessions so these are the indications for the major level now just go through the what are the different types which we are seeing in the uh, in the in, in the in the psychological uh, scenario what are the different types of depression one is dysthymia okay this is a chronic one it will be like having a depressed one and irritable mood for small little things you will be very much irritated you will express the anger you don't know why you are reacting like this this will happen to dysthymia and bipolar dis dis disorder is like highs and lows like tired high tide is there low tide is there mood swings are there same same thing is about the bipolar disorder okay as like a mania okay it's it's not like uh, just feeling a sad it's more than that okay if it is uh, addressed in the moderate level it, it can be uh, it can be like controlled or we can have a uh, we have, we can make into a positive way of life third is mood disorder related to another health condition many medical illness can trigger symptoms of depression many other uh, because of some cancer he is a cancer patient have some heart problem have some injury and he has got infection and uh, so on medical some problem has have dropped in the health condition and this will make him to immobility and may cause mood disorder substance induced mood disorder is like symptoms depression that are due to effects of medicine like uh, because of some feeling you we want to move about from that feeling you don't want to accept that feeling and you will just involve in some drug abuse or alcohol alcoholism or or will take some medicines to get off that from mood but what will happen is that you will end up with the mood disorder which is causing from the or with the from the toxins uh, you are getting from the uh, substance so substance induced mood disorder is very common in the teenagers major depression is a clinical depression and uh, we can diagnose the very very uh, clearly we can diagnose that major depression is uh, have some events have some triggers triggers means some event which make you to making you sad again and again same events is going to repeat and again and again if some funeral or, or some some social gathering or some some accident scene or you are seeing somebody in in the road who who have some weird face something like that next one is postpartum depression is uh, actually is based on the women when during the after the pregnancy it will happen uh, she will be like very much irritable irritable and uh, uh, sh she will be like angry for no cause and she will be telling that i will just kill this child why she is here or why he is born uh, is is very is is he is a uh, headache for me so such thing will happen in the pregnant woman after uh, post pregnancy so this will be handled by the uh, psychologist seasonal affective disorder or simply we can sad sad so seasonal affective disorder we can say that uh, in every season like in autumn or in winter or in summer some people affect their behavior their thinking their feeling so they they don't know what is happening on that one so they have some back history or have some past history that the event will come the autumn will come the same mood disorder will happen inside them okay so that is what we call seasonal affective disorder it won't happen regularly but when the season comes it will happen so the people who are like uh, uh, have the attempt of suiciding the thoughts are more in that season and about the psychotic depression uh, there are many psychological factors which affects them maybe the breakups maybe the maybe the college college days having some peer pressure some uh, problem with the peers a peer group or some uh, events happened be between uh, you and your uh, like uh, your spouse a anything can be done okay next one is situational depression is like uh, adjustment disorder also okay like you are going in a school you are you are uh, you are from the new school you are moved to a new school new area and uh, you have some problem with the situation okay you have some very problem to adjust with the situation you have no new friends for it and you you are connected with the 
past events or past uh, school or college okay so this is what as situational uh, depression and disruptive mode dysregulation disorder is like a uh, thing which make you uh, make your behavior affect the behavior and the feeling okay it will cause make them to for the major level depression also so just we just we looked on the how this depression is affecting us okay now you can see in the slide that depression from there we can feel that the, the person is feeling that low energy is there fatigue decrease in rest and he is this is affecting decrease activity neglect of responsibilities he won't accept the responsibilities even a, a small household chores or any small thing he won't take the responsibility okay if you are giving something he will be angry at you and he will be feeling like hopelessness ineffectiveness and guilty feeling will be developed uh, within the patient or within the client within the people he or she okay so this is the thing which is we can identify that the person have this cycle then he is having some problem he is he is undergoing a major problem or a moderate problem okay so if this cycle is happening or this cycle we can identify we, if we are making a picture then we can easily identify the persons that this is what what depression is so how we can just uh, go for the how it is affecting our the whole body so depression is like the thoughts the events happen it is going inside the, your body okay inside your brain but nobody can uh, know this what is going inside but uh, according to the science uh, according to the headline also many uh, psychologists we can identify the dif uh, depression by through identifying the effects of depression on body so this uh, picture will give you a uh, nice uh, knowledge uh, to know how it is affecting you we can start from the brain itself like you will feeling of sadness or emptiness okay you will be feeling empty that nobody is there with you and you will be stay with the sadness and the next one is insomnia that you will be get problem with the sleeping disorders you will you won't get the sleep okay if you are sleeping for 8 to 10 hours itself you will feel that you are not slept you are still tired and the preoccupation with death the feeling of preoccupation with death that's that uh, the feeling of like i, I will I, it will be better that i will be dying i will be dying so what i have to do it okay and some decision making like we can identify with the school children and teenagers that the people who are depressed are not good they can't remember they are, they will be like very difficult in memorizing things they will just forget okay even they forget to eat they will forget to take the medicines and uh, they, it will be very difficult to uh, take decisions to a uh, decision making skill is very much uh, difficult for the uh, depressed person so our teenager or our children or our spouse is feeling such things to take a decision then be alert about that person next one is about the trouble with uh, risk of heart attack is very important that risk of heart attack is because whatever happening in the brain will be affecting in the heart also so the the heart attack will cause make will make you that the the flow of the uh, the hormones and the, the the pumping will be like very higher in some cases because uh, in many disorders you have the hallucinations you will be seeing the uh, you will be seeing what is unseen or you will be hearing the voices which have not heard about it okay so it will increase the heart attack if you are checking this heartbeat you can say that he has somebody is telling me somebody is uh, beating me somebody is uh, shouting at me so the heart the palpitation or the heart the heartbeat will be increasing so the continuous uh, this uh, triggers will cause him to go uh, for the heart attack and uh, next one is of like a uh, risk of heart attack uh, this one uh, constricted blood vessels it will affect the blood vessels also okay and uh, the like depression will cause the blood flow will be increasing okay so it will affect your the blood vessels and the weightage fluctuation and the depression we can say that uh, we can see that people are like gaining weight or it is affecting their uh, maybe some lean or 
maybe they will be like okay so uh, uh, from overweight also overeating is also a problem not eating is also a problem having no appetite is also the part of the depression and increased pain sensitivity uh, the depressed person can feel the pain in the hands in the arms in the joints in everywhere in his uh, maybe from the headache it will start maybe in the joints he will pay, uh, feel the pain okay and he will maybe some sometimes he will feel fatic okay he will be feeling fatic and uh, his immune system is like very much slow here now in the, this situation uh, strengthening our immune system is very much essential because corona will attack the person who has less immune system so if you are strengthening immune system then we will be safeguard from the corona if inshallah if allah wills like that in depression if the depressed person his immune system will be lowing very weakened so and it will cause the lower libido also so immune system should be developed and uh, it like uh, from the food from the from the balanced diet it can be improved so if the person is feeling this like th these symptoms then we should identify that okay this particular person have like from the mild he is moving to the moderate level or the major level okay so if you are seeing this effects on the body of your spouse your children or your colleagues then please make him understand that uh, brother or uh, my friend you have to move to some uh, psychologist okay so how to identify if someone is going through depression which i have explained to the uh, in the picture just to uh, make you know better one is appetite and weight changes changes in the sleeping habits okay and uh, you, you are using alcohol or drug use okay it will be more if you are consuming it more the the quantity will be increasing day by day okay and feeling fatigue and forced happiness you will just mask yourself you will you will smile before others but actually in inside you there is a deep sadness will be there but that is what forced the happiness okay you will smile before others but is uh, in, in in actually in the internal level you have you are feeling a deep deep pain in it less optimistic than others you are a depressed person won't feel confidence okay he or she won't feel confidence they he will i know i am not do, do, doing good i won't do it such such statements will be coming and concentration in absolutely for the students for the research students and for the people they will uh, have less focus uh, focusing will be very difficult for them and physical pains and health disorders okay so many will people will go for the uh, 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 pills and for the ointments or for the medicines for the pain actually the physical pain is caused because of depression they want to identify it if you have a continuous pain and uh, with the medicine it is not cured then is better to go for a mental check mental health check up okay that uh, that will be explained in in our session okay so see here there are many uh, materials are available in our uh, net but we have selected you better thing for a infographic level uh, to identify very easily identify that but you can go with the mental health america okay this is a project of uh, mental health america from there you can uh, see this you can search for this infographic infographic is a, like a uh, uh, is a is a thing which you get from a Uh, from a uh, from a picture you will get the whole picture of it that what the things you have to do it okay you don't have to go in black and white but you can uh, uh, take the points from it and from there you can get to identify very easily so let us go through it depressive disorders are real illness that involve extended periods of feeling extremely low and disrupt a person's ability to enjoy life okay we are uh, every person want to enjoy the life but this enjoyment is affected here okay how it is affecting let us see it, it will affect the body it will affect the thoughts if it, it will affect the behaviors in body that we have already explained that uh, in body how it is going to a problem for them okay so uh, for a for a snapshot or for uh, for a bullet points i will say the headaches continuous headaches okay changes in appetite you are having the gain or loss in weight everything will be from the body side okay so what about the thoughts causing people to feel inadequate like they aren't good enough they feel extremely sad 
they feel lonely and empty and they have a negative outlook of themselves okay and very important one preoccupied with death or suicide and this is very uh, this is this this should be very much known that you have to note that that one that if somebody is telling about the death again and again about the suicide thing if you are checking the youtube uh, watch history or if you are going for the google search if that person Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. My name is Ala Atiyah on behalf of the Noor Masjid in Wesley Chapel, where there is no masjid within six miles. It's been established for five years. Alhamdulillah, the brothers and the sisters have invested in two office spaces that they need to pay their investors. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you, donating and finishing this project for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After you listen to this video, if you can press on the donate button, you can donate a dollar, five, ten, fifty, or a hundred or more. May Allah bless you for building a masjid for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being part of the, this great project. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay. Yes. So we will continue with that. Okay. So now uh, the about the behavior, they will just uh, won't be ready to take the responsibilities of it. So how we can tackle that one is like that screening itself. Like whatever happens, we used to scan the body, isn't it? If you have some pain, we will scan uh, the body, isn't it? So there is a option for it. We can uh, scan. Uh, we, we can we can uh, scan the um, brain itself, but uh, psychologists are telling that we can screen them by taking some test which is through the MHA that is Mental Health America is providing uh, some uh, uh, toll free number for you okay so in 1800273 so you can uh, call them up and you can if you think you may be showing signs of depressive uh, disorder uh, mhascreening.org please note this one mhascreening.org Screening is not a diagnosis, but it can be a helpful tool for starting a conversation with your doctor or a loved one about your mental health. That you can you can know that okay, fine, I have a problem. Then wh what what is the next which I have to do it? Okay, so note this one mha screening dot org. So through this you can go for the screening one. Okay, so like that same thing which I have already explained about the major depressive disorder, about the dysthymia. And, and about the seasonal affective disorder, everything is already mentioned there. And uh, somehow uh, we may be hearing this one and uh, uh, we think that we have some, like some issues I have, but whatever uh, is discussed here, not all the things, but still we can go through how the mild depression 
uh, have the factors see i have already told you that if the mild depression is uh, uh, like uh, it is identified properly then it is diagnosed properly then we can control the depression okay so, so first thing is like you uh, if the person is feeling he or she is feeling irritability or anger hopelessness lack of motivation a sudden disinterest in socializing aches and pains with seemingly no direct cause there is no cause for the pain problems in the insomnia in the sleeping disorders having reckless behavior okay weight changes if it is identified or if it is noted in your uh, children or with the spouse then do, don't neglect it don't ignore it understand them sit and talk with them and just make make a like a make a chance to open up the heart okay so don't scold them or abuse them if they are really going through this matter then let us sit together have a cup of tea and just have a chat uh, brother what is going with you sister what is going with you how i can help you for this yes so another infographics uh, from the happy five uh, website that how it can be how to identify very easily how we can identify this one okay now you can see the picture that uh, uh, one person is lost in interest he is a painter actually and uh, he is not enjoying his own hobby the thing which he used to love like anything okay he he feel disinterest in drawing okay or in in in, in sketching okay next one is about the uh, like uh, like trouble falling or staying asleep uh, you, you are sleeping too much okay uh, problem in like you are in the bed now but you are closing your eyes but you are not getting sleeping some some thoughts are disturbing you some some instability is there some problem is there which make you stop your sleeping okay or you are uh, sleeping too much okay and have some trouble concentrating on reading or watching television in makes people who are uh, the love to read books okay there are so many people who love to read novels and books everything but they can't concentrate for more than a two or three minutes they are their focusing is disturbing then that is another sign for it and feeling low tired lethargy having no, no energy of it how much uh, maybe two cups of coffee you are having or five cups you are consuming still you feel low energy okay and some uh, next one is about the overeating okay or having little appetite may the opposites you will eating more than the usual thing you, you you have you used to have it and you feeling down depressed or hopelessness every time you are seeing you are going for a negative thoughts and again and again you don't know why these thoughts are coming to you and feel bad about yourself that i am nothing i am useless i am i'm not i'm not so much good like him uh, i am a failure uh, i have studied so much so many things but i have done nothing these things uh will make you feel that uh, i am i am uh, like he it will moving like he will be feeling depressed okay and the speech will be in a low way okay it very slow the person having a depression will will you, will will uh, speak in a low voice and uh, like he will be speechless in sometimes okay very slowly and he won't convey the uh, real thing to you also and you and having thoughts of hurting yourself or that you would be better off dead that you are you are like asking for death okay uh, and that is not uh, allowed in the islamic perspective okay asking death is not good okay fine but we will come to that what is what are the solution for it and uh, feeling down and uh, so here with the more symptoms you have and the more frequently they occur the more severe your depression may be so you should identify the, the correct professional way to identify that one so if you are having uh, if we uh, if the people are facing these things so don't worry we have the solution for it uh, the suicide.org please note this website suicide.org will help you or 911 in us will be helping you for the for the all coming such situation in depression one way of way of handling is that getting connected with that person getting connected Uh, he he won't allow you to enter in his uh, in his uh, comfort zone but in a humble way in a generous way connect with him okay so 
now uh, some statements how from the behavior from the speech how we can as a as a parent as a colleague as a spouse how i can identify that the, the he or she is a, is a, is in depression okay like they will be saying you are a bar or you like i am a burden to everyone used to he would be used to repeat this word he or she used to repeat this word i am a burden to everyone why i am staying alive huh? all you want is to go home and just curl up and feel fall asleep forever uh, being understood being understood and ashamed okay fighting and exhausting battle against yourself isn't it a really terrible lonely feeling i feel very much lonely he won't connect with the other person okay and uh, like a dark empty room with no escape he will be feeling like that i am in a dark empty room i am just alone nobody is there to support me uh, like a cage i am i am i am living in a cage okay so these things if uh, he is telling about uh, to you then uh, very much sure that uh, he is undergoing in a moderate way or in a uh, major depression way so uh, we have to identify if this uh, address if in a mod moderate or mild no issues we will be very much hopeful that uh, coming slides will uh, make you understand that how we can cope up with the such situations okay so a condition that takes many forms okay so in what do you mean by about the major about it is like about like uh, how uh the depression is affecting the person already i have explained that one this is some pictorial representation infographics the three main types of depressive disorder which are persisting or we are finding that one major depressive disorder this may be triggered by a loss such a loss of status or job in corona many people have lost their job uh, have some problem with their relationship okay and have unable to work eat or sleep have problem with everything like uh, he he is like uh, fired from his uh, office whatever the thing will happen he will go to depression maybe he don't have any past history but the event which has he has not accepted it uh, he he was very shocking one it will affect his uh, it will go to his major depressive disorder okay and next one is uh, about the persistent depressive disorder severe but more chronic than major depression this this has very similar symptoms and usually last for at least 2 years maybe it will uh, be with the client or with the uh, with the person for 2 years lasting with that if it is not addressed bipolar disorders is like shifting of highs and lows you can see here that that lady that uh, she is having like a smiley is there and is this uh, low low feeling is sad is there uh you from the from the graphics you can uh, know that one that the person is feeling like sometimes she is feeling very happy sometimes feeling very much sad she, she don't know the what is happening inside her body so in in, in the this one so uh, allah may save god as uh, some research show that more women are having depression than men twice as many women as men are diagnosed with depression okay so uh, women take care of this whatever things which we are discussing now note down this if you are going through with this we have the solution for it uh, everything is ready mashallah uh, every uh, system is ready mashallah allah subhanahu wa taala has given uh, many things to make it uh, come out from it okay don't lose hope for it we are there to support and help you and the at all the age at which girls depression begins to overtake that of boys that is the age of 12 okay after in the puberty time the girl child feels this uh, the, uh, depression also okay and about the postpartum depression like 10 to 15 women uh, out of 100 10 to 15 percent of women who who experience depression in the aftermath of pregnancy okay so it will be persist for a year or no or longer maybe for 6 months maybe for up to year after that she can recover uh, by the help of the medical professionals okay so how uh, like this is for the parents if the, our child 
if your child have a problem with the, like he is not going to school uh, he is telling papa is very difficult i am not going to first study he is like angry with you irritated with you not eating anything so how you can make him to join back to the school or he said drop out uh, you have uh, you have taken the what uh, uh, a tc from uh, from one, one uh, you have signed out from one school and again you have joined a new school but yes so uh, there is a school refusal program uh, initiated by anxiety and depression association of america okay how what are the ways or strategies parents or the school teachers or the counselors can plan for this number 1 expose children to address in school uh, children to school in small degrees increasing exposure slowly over time eventually this will help them to realize there is nothing to fear and that nothing bad will happen they will fear they have as a child they have a many fear about it how i have to face it how i have to tackle it so such things will be uh, introduced very slowly and we should not make them fear about that in school you you have this uh, we have this experience like you can introduce that your school has such a good environment and you have a, such a nice class teacher i will drop you uh, papa will uh, pick up you and drop you for that your mother will be there you will be getting nice food for the lunch or for the breakfast we will give some uh, some uh, biscuits something which make him attached with the school make him involved and and uh, feel that make him feel that going to school is a nice thing it's a give a positive note that one and talk with your child about feelings and fears which helps reduce them so he still he will have that fear so take your time and give the time two or three minutes daily at least five minutes to let him talk with you what what happened in the school what is going wrong with you how is your friend uh, sara how is balbina how is uh, uh, how is uh, rahul how is uh, uh, salim uh, uh, how is uh, vignesh so you can Uh, just ask about the friends so he he will telling that okay uh, uh, sara is good vignesh is good but rahul is he's always teasing me so you can identify that some problem is between the peers so who is attaching with your child so may uh, let let and talk with that uh, that, that the, his friends he will be happy give present to that friends okay or uh, give him some toffee that today you just give uh, that toffee to your friend so make him involved on that and arrange an informal meeting with your child's teacher away from the classroom because in the classroom scenario it, it will be not be possible that uh, they can talk uh, everything about the child so if if you can arrange a meeting other than uh, this uh, like a, like a cafeteria or some coffee shop i uh, have it a tea if a coffee and have at least you can invite the teacher to your home okay and have it, a chat with your class teacher so you can get the main thing why the fears inside uh, how it was developed you can get that one from the class teacher and emphasize the positive aspects of going to school which i have already explained uh, explained being with friends learning favorite subject or maybe you have to play with him in the beginning you have to take the bat and you have to go with him you have to take take the soccer you have to play with him okay so uh, or buy some uh, new ball to him or uh, some basketball to him and let him play okay so this is the way which make him happy involved that yeah my papa is with me my uh, mama is with me okay let him that get that message and express it most of the parents want to express that love okay express the love to him that uh, dad is loving you and so sometimes you tell just tell me i love you yusuf i love you uh khadija i love you uh what uh, uh, shanavas ha huh? fine so such things you should be uh, express the love also and try self help methods with your child in addition therapist recommendations a good self help book will provide relaxation techniques be open to new ideas that let him discuss with the new ideas also like if just watch the observe observe your child's behavior what what are his likes how the likes are changing to dislikes how the dislikes become likes 
okay uh, before 6 months he used don't have the habit of having the milk now he is he is uh, liking the milk okay but with the chocolate so note down that one okay my my child behavior is now changing now he is not taking the milk but now he is taking the milo or something like that uh, which is uh, like uh, uh, he is now uh, liking the strawberry flavor so note down that one so as a observer other than therapist as a parent be a observer to your child meet with the school counselor for extra support and direction and just give the feedback that uh, counselor i am doing such things in my home and uh, uh, what what are what are the things which i am doing just give the uh, give the uh, report of, to the counselor and he or she will give the feedback to you that the things you have to add up or continue with the same thing or change the strategy such things will be uh, discussed by the counselor so make him uh, like aware that uh, as a parent i am also considering i am valuing my child so it will help the counselor to support you better encourage the hobbies and interests like fun is relaxation so hobbies like some people will be like uh, cartooning like drawing okay and maybe some uh, sand playing okay some which will involve with the nature also not with the indoor uh, activities but with the outdoor activities also it will increase the uh, capacity of the brain it will increase the left hemisphere right hemisphere the the cognitive still will be uh, improving so such will be de develop the positive hormone serotonin hormone which will be a great impact on his body okay and give a support system to the child that how he he, he should be maintained with the thing so other as well as teachers and talk with the like he may be some uh, parents uh, parents can go with their uh, friends house home maybe some uncle will be there uh, maybe some auntie will be there if he or she is very comfort with that let him talk to some time to, to that person if he or she is not revealing with you and how the about the teenagers as we have considered a 12 uh, at the age of 12 girl child is facing depressions okay so five ways to support your teens mental health first thing uh, whatever they are telling about the pain or feelings don't make that very lightly if you are telling that somebody has hurt me somebody have ignored me just be empathize with that person not by sympathy okay fine like empathy show the empathy be empathize with that person okay with your teenager that is more important than the sympathy nobody needs the sympathy the depressed the persons with the depressive disorders they don't want any sympathy mind it they want an empathy so be an empathetic person as a parent you should be empathize with the, your uh, children's or the teenagers uh, pain create uh, uh, educate yourself about how the body reacts to anxiety so you should know when my girl or my, my, my daughter or boy is in anxiety whenever like exams is coming exams are he is very good at in school or college uh, in school uh, so when exams are coming he is having the pain in the stomach having the headaches pain in the shoulders okay and uh, problem in constipation is having right so you can identify this is the this is the problem anxiety disorder this is the symptoms of anxiety disorder so you should make him plan better so uh, so make him uh, don't uh, scold him or ignore him or tell that you are you are just uh, 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 telling lies uh, you these are tricks for you such statements should be avoided from the parental side and uh, maybe have some some people have phobias or mania okay so what you as a parent you can do this that let them face the fear if they have the fear of darkness just uh, you, you be, be with that uh, girl or take your daughter with you and uh, face uh, let her face face that fear no other way to uh, what overcome it let's he let her let her know that the nothing is there when the light is there the darkness will go okay so why she is fears okay so whatever the fear she has or he has uh, let uh, tell the idea that let them give the assurance that i am with you just face it uh you have to face it you are now a grown up you have you have the courage of it you have the confidence of it i am with you go ahead so give motivate them and let them face the fear maybe sometimes they will have the that that negative uh, what 
feeling, but be with that person and give assurance of it. Model vulnerability, it's okay to not to be okay. Okay, fourth one is, is very much important. In our uh, artificial society where we, we are less smiling, having a mask, we are putting the persona of it that uh, I should be perfect in every way. Okay, give a message. It's okay to not to be okay. Okay, it's okay. If you fail now, it's okay. If you make a mistake, it's okay. As a parent, as a mother, as a, as a, uh, as a father, it's okay, beta. It's okay, my dear son. It's okay, my dear daughter. But don't repeat the mistake. Okay, let's, let's tell, tell me the truth. Uh, let let you give the feedback. I will I will I will give you some ideas to uh, make up in the next event. Okay, so it's okay to not to be okay. Give the message. Not all should be the perfect. Okay, it will co cause for the OCD also, obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay, so it's not to be okay. Fine, but you have to correct it. Give the feedback. Let him correct. Okay. First one, consider extra help from professionals. Of course, uh, anxiety of uh, anx anxiety and depression association of America is giving a full support for this. Uh, you have the website. Please note down adaa.org. Uh, adaa.org. From there, you can get the uh, more details about it. And about the depression statistics of college students. Of course, uh, after the teenagers, colleges have a bigger future. Having the more uh, things are life, they are entering to the real life situation from their pampering, from their uh, the, their uh, their comfort zone. They are moving to a zone where they don't know what will happen. Okay, some statistics are there. Thirty percent of college students reported that stress had negatively affected their academic performance. So, if the college performance is going low, let them have a screening. Let them go for a screening. Let them talk with the counselor. Don't hesitate that to talk with the counselor is a, not a negative thing. It's like you are you are consulting a medical doctor, sir. I have a doctor. I have problem with my uh, stomach. Uh, you you consider as a positive one. Same thing. If you have, have have problem with the performance, career performance, academic performance, let talk with the college counselor or some private professional. And eighty five percent of college students reported that they are felt overwhelmed by everything. They had to do at some point within the past year. Okay, 85% of the college students report they had felt overwhelmed and stayed 41% stayed anxiety as a top presenting concern among college students because college is also presenting or having giving a pressure that you should excel, you should be getting the marks. Okay, so that is also a problem for it. And many students, more than 24% of students, uh, they were taking psychotropic medications. 24% of college students are taking psychotropic medic medications because they have to withstand the stress. Okay, so these are the scenarios which we have. You should understand this is going in the, the society, and we should know where the where the bulb is there. When the traffic lights are there, we know the signal where we have to stop. Okay, we, where where should be? We should get the accelerator. So I am uh, just explaining this. We are just giving a uh, statistics to know that this is happening in the college level. So how we should equip with uh, how we should equip how we should excel that one overcome that one okay start assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters my name is ala atiya on behalf of the new masjid in wesley chapel where there is no masjid within six miles it's been established for five years alhamdulillah the brothers and the sisters have invested in two office spaces that they need to pay their investors. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you donating and finishing this project for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After you listen to this video, if you can press on the donate button, you can donate a dollar, five, ten, fifty, or a hundred or more. May Allah bless you for building a message for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being part of the, this great project. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum salam, mashallah. We are back, mashallah. Allah may easy. Allah may give uh, the tawfiq for building a masjid, mashallah. Allah may give you barakah in all in all the ways of life. Allah give barakah in the halal way of earnings, mashallah. So next one is how to raise high. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm uh, welcoming Balbina. Balbina will be the interpreter, mashallah. 
so ways to avoid depression how we can overcome this depression we have already talked about the depression is this one and these are the signs of it mashallah we have the ways to overcome it first do the azan to the near that uh, the, i have identified that one for every problem there is a solution for every problem if allah has given as a as a uh, as a disease and allah has given the shifa also cure also and that should be a kind of a moment if something happens from allah alhamdulillah this good for me it's alhamdulillah if something happened which which uh, make up make us loss inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun so these two things these two states are there okay for a mu'min for a mu'mina uh, there is no regret actually only regret of his own sins okay whatever the dunya allah is giving alhamdulillah he knows the better he has the best plan for him maybe my plan will be flop because I, allah has a better plan for us that is the main thing which you have to be uh, we have to be inside we have to imbibe inside in the deep in the hearts we have to uh, we have to install this affirmation like we are installing the software uh, uh, like antivirus we are installing in the computers uh, to safeguard from the malware like we have to install this one whatever the plan whatever the things is happening in my life it is the best for me if i am I have a good connection with allah subhanahu wa taala then alhamdulillah I have no fear but my connection with allah is not good my connection with my allah is not uh, right then it will be a problem for me allah may save god us allah may, may make us a good mu'min and mu'minat mashallah so we should de- avoid a depression my dear brothers and sisters exercise regularly mashallah exercise means not only the salah you take some time 5 minutes to 10 minutes or 20 minutes in the when you wake up uh, after the salah after the namaz you just go for a walk you have a simple exercise body movements including the uh, maybe have some meditations have some breathing exercises at least at least you can do some breathing exercises okay you have many things in the net uh, to, to know the, about the meditations and the breathing exercises cut back on social media time uh, because in social media many things are actually uh, man- manifested or articulated to get the uh, negative things they will just focus on the negative marks already they won't uh, focus on the positive thing because mind will catch up the negative one very easily because mind don't know which is positive which is negative for example i am telling you not to think about the picture of a monkey chimpanzee not to think already is there isn't it fine huh? so so cut, cut back on social media is like that in negativity will be coming down okay you get give a time for the so for the media for 5 minutes or 10 minutes after that so turn to some positive things build stronger relationships in the, the peer group with your families minimize your daily choices okay daily choices means in the day to day things you you have like go don't go for that which dress i have to wear green or blue or white don't go for the many choices go for a little choices it will be it will reduce stress for you for, for yourself okay don't for many choices okay go for some uh, one or two th- or th- three choices don't go for multiple choices okay and reduce stress uh, whatever the stress which make you uh, make you feel depressed uh, avoid from that maintain your treatment plan if you are having consultation if you are consulting a psychiatrist some psychologist so maintain that treatment plan check whether in before going to bed whether i have i have i have taken the medicine or not whether i have missed the medicine or morning medicine or not and get a plenty of sleep the main thing uh, you, the psychologists used to say that the uh, night sleep may before before 4:30 like from 11:30 a, uh, pm to morning before 5:30 to 5 or before 4:30 you will get a nice sleep and the sound sleep time is about 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock or 1 to 2 o'clock so this 1 2 and 3 this area this layer like you have should get a sound sleep for it okay stay away from toxic people some people are negative from the nature they don't have any problem but they will make us problem so better to avoid them and a healthy eating habits have a balanced diet keep the balance balanced diet and you know better that what is a balanced diet read prescription medication side effects carefully uh, if you are consuming some medicines you have purchased some medicines in that prescriptions are there huh? what are the who should take it pregnant lady should not take this one the having the persons with the stress or anxiety should not take this one so please read carefully before taking a medicine if somebody has suggested the medicine 
or you have doctor just tell the doctor that if i have anxiety i have disorder so doctor consider that one also okay and reduce alcohol and drug use and nicotine less use of nicotine you should not uh, go near to the nicotine itself plan for unavoidable non triggers unavoidable non triggers means uh, for example why a person is a divorcee and uh, he is seeing his uh, uh, his uh, ex wife or uh, she is uh, seeing uh, seeing her ex uh, husband with other other lady so it it will cause problem to her okay so some like some social gatherings which you you can't avoid it so plan for that okay you just plan before it and be ready to face that situation okay so in a cure for de depression what are the treatment options are available okay okay for the mild depression and moderate and uh, and for the uh, major level, level there are other type of the, these all these uh, techniques are treatments are used in uh, for the mild it's okay you can have a consultation for going for a counseling and if you need that counselor is, is prescribing you for going for going for some therapy interpersonal therapy is there psychodynamic therapy is there and cbt is very efficient one and it is internationally used cognitive behavior therapy is very much used by the professionals for uh, curing for the depression so what are the tips according to mental health america what are the tips for tackling the uh, depression okay figure out what lifts your spirits and make a list you can refer to means uh, what are the things make make you positive note down that one okay maybe the maybe some talking with the with the people or playing with a pet or looking some pictures or uh, going through the uh, uh, childhood memories just note down that one and if you feeling depressed uh, uh, try to do that one repeatedly second one taking a brisk walk getting more have a have a walk or having some like in the lawn you are uh, just walking for a for 30 minutes okay or a 10 to 15 minutes you are walking walking and getting uh, the inspiration from the nature and keep a journal that what are the things happening what are the three things today what i have gained what are the three things i am grateful to you alhamdulillah uh, mu'min and mu'mina the main thing allah is telling about that they are shakirin they are very grateful to the allah they are very much grateful so whether uh, today uh, allah allah has given a lot of blessings to me uh, it, it was like i have covered with abundance Uh, gratitude or from the blessing from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So note down that one. Today, Alhamdulillah, I have I have uh, I have got a nice sleep. I have got a good dress. I have ate some, Mashallah, a fish. I have ate, Mashallah, I have uh, ate some good uh, some some dish, something like that. Note down that. At least minimum three uh, uh, grateful things things you have experienced today, each and every day, and make an appointment with a therapist. Okay, have an appointment with your therapist. and uh, have, a, have a contact with him and take the uh, feedback from the therapist so how we have to move it okay and some something like uh, determine how much time it actually uh, some some task which uh, taking more time 10 minutes or 20 minutes so making them that feel a sense of accomplishment start with quick task mean don't take the hard task which is very difficult for you rather than take simple task which is easy for you to handle okay call someone you trust and ask them to talk to you or even just sit with you okay some people are will be there alhamdulillah uh, some good brothers and sisters will be there some good friends will be there allah may give us good friends uh, choosing a, a good friends is one of the positive thing in your life uh, allah may give us good friends and uh, uh, go, uh, good relatives okay so talk with that sir friends you will have some one or two or friends you can talk with that persons and challenge your negative thoughts about yourself being depressed may make you feel like something you have done was horrible okay so challenge your negative thoughts and try to overcome it and many things you can go for mental health america for the infographics okay and also uh, how uh, already i have uh, just uh, gone through it so treatment is available is that uh, cbt that is cognitive behavior therapy will work for you uh, uh, and antidepressive uh, medications are there but positive psychology is we, we are we are using this is a happy fi infographic positive psychology interventions teach people to pay attention to the good things in their lives and create meaningful experiences there are 
uh, many uh, many institutes are uh, taking these sessions or many ngos are there uh, who are uh, going through this one or support groups will be there uh, dealing with positive psychology they won't make you fear but other than it will make you easy living and you will be feeling very much rooted with the thing okay so you will feel that how to be a mindful person so mindfulness is a very helpful tool for you mindfulness like you know what what are the disorders is going on there uh, being being now and here here and now mindfulness whatever you are doing enjoying you are what you are doing you are have, taking a cup of tea you are enjoying the cup of tea okay you are being with your spouse you are enjoying the uh, uh, the, the the relationship the time you are spending with your uh, spouse uh, you are enjoying the uh, time spending with your child so enjoy each and everything so mindfulness will make you more easier for life mashallah and some other techniques are like uh, i have already mentioned this is the infographic for it like the how to prevent depression uh, the like the person is having a good food making a cooking a food uh, mediterranean diet or like a balanced diet okay having some seafood uh, having some like uh, some vegetables okay extra virgin olive oil you, you can use for it okay and you can go for a like exercise you can go for yoga or meditation uh, cycling you can go for it for gym you can go for a gym and you can uh, take a membership of a gym and you can go for a gym uh, for 30 40 to 45 minutes you can spend for uh, cycling or for exercise and uh, like uh, so, some like uh, going for some outings some um, like uh, for going for like a walk or going some uh, exploring new new places which you have never seen such will help thing to uh, get rid of the depression and how the mind is affecting uh, uh, so the mind is already stressed isn't it so how the stress and anxiety should be dealt with okay so according to anxiety and uh, depression association of america accept that you cannot control everything okay everything is from allah subhanahu wa taala okay allah has given us the make us khalifa to know that and allah know allah want to know that how beautifully we have uh, lived here okay in a gratitude way or in gratitude okay so uh, by cursing him or by uh, being uh, praying shukr for him or uh, praying gratitude for him so accept that you cannot control everything everything is from allah subhanahu wa taala that is the tawakkul the connection of tawakkul is there and everything is coming from is from allah subhanahu wa taala whatever coming in front of you do your best instead of aiming for perfection you go for go, don't go for the perfection i have already mentioned perfection is not the thing which is which should be right okay so do your best you do your performance don't compare with others do your best allah has given you the capacity allah has given you a skill mashallah so with that you do the best rest tawakkul allah subhanahu wa taala and maintain a positive attitude whatever happens is good for me keep a smile on your face and smile will make you mashallah uh, uh, induce a more positive vibration within yourself and the person in front of you allah may give us a nice smile also that's the thing allah hasan ta khalqi hasan ta khuluqi we have a dua when in a mirror uh, when you are seeing the mirror we have to recite a dua allah hasan ta khalqi wa hasan ta khuluqi in the body how it is going to affect that is about limit alcohol and caffeine well balanced meals get enough sleep exercise daily in what you should be does an action practical way take deep breaths okay in breathing like that you have to at least make a thing that if inhaling 1 2 3 1 holding for 1 2 3 and exhaling 1 2 3 right inhaling for 3 seconds holding for 3 seconds and exhaling for 3 seconds this is the simple technique we can uh, go for an for an activity if you doing uh, doing this regularly you can feel the difference and uh, simultaneously a uh, day by day you just increase the seconds like 3 and uh, like the 5 uh, and go on and uh, counting slow 10 to uh, 10 to 1 okay give back to your community do some volunteer work give some sadaqah give some help uh, be attached with the with the masjid with the community with the uh, some ngos which is go, uh, going for volunteer works take a time out going for practice if you do know the yoga some exercises mindfulness uh, some uh, reiki energy level whatever make you uh, more uh, more uh, focus on yourself go for it get online help of mha mental health america 
i have already told the, uh, that mhs screening which make you help you one and talk to someone which make you uh, cure of this one or who listens to you and alhamdulillah in the perspective of quran and hadith you know mashallah better but i am just making make a uh, point of that that this will make us a uh, more effective when dealing with that alhamdulillah allah has given us so many uh, strategies uh, to, to human beings to deal with it with the with the tawfiq of alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may give us uh, the real knowledge of it allah allah may give us ilm al nafia that is uh, the knowledge which is uh, fruitful for us which will be which will be uh, which, which make us more more induce in our actions than in our brains so to ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dua is one of the one of the best tool for a mu'min or mu'minat okay so uh, every time go for a dua uh, dua is not, nothing nothing but it's like a talk with allah you are talking with allah now you are here you are talking with a therapist isn't it now you are talking with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only asking everything but just tell that uh, alhamdulillah shukr allah you have given the such thing such thing sir what whatever is coming allah that is from yourself so i don't know which is the way you show me the way i don't know what what i have to do it so just talk with allah like better than your therapist better than your parents because even parents may sometimes they feel, they feel stress when you are uh, complaining when you are when you are telling something but allah won't be uh, allah will be happy when you are asking him asking him so uh, have dua uh, dua is very much important uh, uh, in in our life so take some time 5 to 10 minutes uh, time for the dua and second way is reading of al-duha surah number 93 Uh, in the morning wise uh, there are many things are there where you can have this uh, read surah duha walluha uh, where you can have this uh, you, you can have the vibrations of it and uh, you know that that is a uh, quran has some vibration positive vibrations and uh, look for the meaning of it uh, walluha about the walluha meaning about the, the interpretation and the, the tafsir go for it and you will find that something is there allah has given some something in surah duha yes and remember allah do dhikr and istighfar because whatever is coming as to us is from allah subhanahu wa taala so the, the some uh, allah has mentioned the quran that i will i will just make you uh, what uh, examine or i will just test you uh, by giving such uh, some problems so uh, turn to allah subhanahu wa taala do dhikr more uh, frequently tell asbunallah rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to tell whatever the problems are coming he, sh- he should uh, he he used to recite so uh, hasbunallah not big big surahs hasbunallah allah is enough for me allah is enough for me and mashallah uh, qiyam salah um, in salah in, if possible going in the masjid or in in your home if possible in the masjid it's, it will be good that if you are moving to masjid and it will be like a vibration will be different masjid have their own mashallah is uh, noor is there Ma- mashallah vibrations are there mashallah angels will be there allah's rahmat will be there so if if you are mashallah offering salah and if you are uh, performing congregational prayer prayer with the in this scenario with social distancing keeping the social distancing uh, and, uh, and not uh, not, uh, not uh, what uh, just maintaining the social distancing uh, the, you can go to the masjid and if you have some problem with the sneezing the running nose and have uh, some f- uh, fever don't go for masjid stay they stay there itself and benefits of offering salah allah will shield you allah will allah will empower you and allah will encover us with his light allah allah will save god from the from the uh, shaitans and allah will enrich your souls the the qalb allah subhanahu wa taala will uh, will fill the noor with, with the heart will be full with the noor and and, the, and then with the prayer we will be very much humble to allah subhanahu wa taala and you can feel that the vibrations of the sala when you doing the sajda you is, you are going for ruku everything the the impact will be different in your body okay but you have to realize it we don't know we are just doing a mechanical way of doing it that's why we are not making considering that is a valuable thing alhamdulillah so to now today make a niyat that i will perform the sala with the full mindfulness with the full concentration yes
so uh, another benefit of salah is that allah will may wash away wash away our sins okay so whatever the good happens and whatever the bad happens is from allah subhanahu wa taala okay so whatever thing happens uh, go for wudu go for ablution and he has many many medical benefits also and he has many many internal benefits also go for a wudu uh, very in uh, take your time by going for wudu and perform salah in a two rakat salah very calm and quietly and ask allah okay so what are the health benefits of reciting holy quran so in mentioned that uh, the quran is the best remedy for the illness of the soul so whatever the thing is there allah has the noor in it and as a shifa uh, allah has given the shifa in this quran also and al fatiha is one of the, uh, the the name of the surah fatiha is surah shifa also okay so the other benefits are like you will be released from the stress and anxiety fixing the fluctuation heart rates and hypertension will be revealed uh, and wulu will make you cure from the psychotic issues alhamdulillah alhamdulillah okay so and uh, from the from the quran you will be like your your brain will be also mashallah having uh, giving in the healing and uh, allah allah's healing will be uh, will be getting from there from the heavens whatever the things will happen whatever the medicines we are making it but the shifa is from allah subhanahu wa taala so whatever we are doing from the from the therapy side from the medication side uh, from the from the exercise everything we have to do it but we have to make connected with the allah subhanahu wa taala because cureness is from the allah subhanahu wa taala and uh, reciting morning and evening rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to recite three times qul allahu ahad qul a'udhu rabbil falaq qul a'udhu rabbin nas these three things should be recited more after the fajr prayer and after the maghrib salah or asar salah okay morning or evening if possible if you forget no issues uh, try to do it today itself inshallah uh, you you can feel the differences of it okay morning three times qul allahu rabbil falaq nas okay then uh, evening itself and mashallah whatever is still you, you you have to wait for it okay allah allah will look the, the look upon the hearts not the not not the things which you wear okay allah look on the hearts of the mukmin or mukminat uh, if he is sabar he if he is mashallah he is still he is connected with allah allah will surely give him the uh, real source for it okay so tawakkal allah subhanahu wa taala for this whatever is there husband allah that is a thing allah is enough for me this is the this, uh, this is the affirmation said superb affirmation i have gone through many affirmations but this husband allah uh, the weightage of this one is very much strong enough okay so whatever happens just be there and just close your eyes and put your hands on your ha heart and tell husband allah this, yeah, allah is enough for me and this is a powerful vibration my dear brothers and sisters and uh, recite uh, istighfar astaghfirullah lali mustaghfirullah lali and do the things don't procrastinate do the things okay don't stay away do it uh, do it whatever not that do it perfectly okay do it as as allah has given to you that's all don't go for a perfection perfection has allah allah has the only who, who, who has a perfection we are all like uh, have have the like bani bani adam all have some imperfections are there okay so uh, go for go for it okay don't go for the perfection do your best and ask for the best okay so uh, brothers and sisters uh, thank you so much for your uh, cooperation for the listening and uh, now is the question and answer sessions uh, so i am happy that uh, thank you balbina and sara uh, for their coordination uh, this is the first time we are doing uh, and i'm very much happy that Uh, such communities also link with us this uh, uh, allah may give the reward to the uh, noor uh, noor noor uh, masjid and uh, and and the delegates of the noor uh, noor masjid and uh, and uh, other translators and the persons who behind this scene uh, who make this possible yes now we can go for the question and answer sessions Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters my name is Ala Atiyah on behalf of the new masjid in Wasi Chapel where there is no masjid within 6 miles it's been established for 5 years 
Alhamdulillah, the brothers and the sisters have invested in two office spaces that they need to pay their investors. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you donating and finishing this project for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After you listen to this video, if you can press on the donate button, you can donate a dollar, five, ten, fifty or a hundred or more. May Allah bless you for building a masjid for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being part of the, this great project. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes, uh, it's now open. You can uh, enter the questions and uh, you can ask uh, in uh, in the YouTube uh, chat window. Yes, OCD considered a mental illness. Yes, it has some therapy. It is considered as mental illness. Actually, it can be overcome, but it's like uh, it's you have to look on the uh, tips like um, from from that uh, from the way you have uh, born up, brought up, or the parental style also have uh, the same issue with the OCD. So what is the thing is that not going for perfection. Many some people have the pro uh, problem is that whether I have washed the hand properly or not. So he will repeat for four to five times. Okay, or uh, seeing the door again and again whether it is closed or not. Okay. So uh, first thing is that uh, not going for perfection, it's okay to be not okay. That's the thing which should be affirmed. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I have already watched. Tell to your mind that, okay, I have done this. It's okay that three times washing is enough. Okay. Not going again for like four or five or six. If you have some problem with that, you can stop it. You can go for uh, a consultation for a uh, appointments. For OCD, uh, some tips are there that we should understand uh, in which uh, event or which uh, habit you are stick with that. So you can go for Mental Health America or you can go for uh, Googling. Uh, you have some mindfulness that it's okay to be not okay. And um, some thoughts will be coming, haunting you. You can go for the past history and you can work out it from you. That is started from how many years? Uh, you are practicing this thing and uh, that is a compulsive disorder it's a compulsive one you are making you make a discomfort to you also maybe some to others also maybe discomfort not for you maybe but uh, simultaneously you, you came to understand that because of my habit uh, my wife's or my my wife or my parents or my peer group are facing the problem okay so comfortness is uh, depends upon your level that we have to work out that question was not shown actually how to follow a schedule even when feeling low because of a negative situation how to follow a schedule even when feeling low because of a negative situation first you have to uh, plan that uh, why you are feeling this negative thing okay uh, you have to make use of some therapist you have to talk with your therapist okay uh, fix this problem and uh, get out of the room have a walk, okay? Look the birds, sky, okay? Come back, to-do list, one by one, two, three, you just do the list, what you have to do it, okay? Don't make a schedule that, why I'm going to do this, okay? And uh, if, if you're still feeling that the negative energy is still there, then you have to just get up from there, take some water and come back. And if you're still feeling negative, just feel that. The, the, uh, you make the positive thing. There's, if you're staying there, the thoughts will haunt you. Okay. So making you movable and uh, talking with the positive things, reading something good, and again, back to your work. So uh, phrase that one. If you're feeling the negative one, 
go for the positive one as i have told you that morning and evening you are reciting the quran and ponder on the meaning of the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's given one okay and uh, ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay and take, if you have some uh, negative feeling still like automatic negatives are there automatic negative thoughts are there then you have to go for consultation you don't know where these thoughts are coming automatic negative thoughts are there cbt cognitive behavior therapy will help you inshallah sure. see there is more question on uh, ocd like you know the uh, one particular question came up like for example a child who sh- who doesn't like anyone sitting on her bed and even if she takes bath and changes her clothes and all those things but still you know uh, she doesn't like anyone to touch or uh, something like that they feel it is dirty so how do you overcome this kind of like a over uh, cleanliness or the thought you know that keeps on uh, provoking i don't so, i want to know the age of the child age of the child assume if uh, the age is not mentioned in the question but okay uh, fine so it's like child if if we can talk with the child you can uh, from as a mother as a as a father you can you know that you are observing the thing that from the past how many years or uh, how many days he is uh, he is he, he is behaving like this one okay so you can take up the trigger or from where he started or still you can't manage that uh, your child then is better to move to the therapist some child psychologist and uh, just uh, explain her uh, that uh, this um, this may this is affecting her, his or her behavior then the therapist will give you the uh, some action point uh, what uh, some some uh, some actions to point out some uh, schedule you have to do it like make him face the fear okay the child have to face the fear maybe uh, the he have to t- uh, may make him to cry for some time maybe okay like with the help of the parent because otherwise this ocd will be increasing as he is going to adolescence it will become a more severe so better in his childhood itself if it is correcting alhamdulillah mashallah is a very good point of view most of the ocd is identifying when after the adolescence and it is very difficult okay if in child in the child itself it is identifying if the parents are supporting him alhamdulillah is a, a nice nice thing mashallah if they But have adolescence they yeah. mentioned the child age is 14 so adolescence yeah yeah yes, adolescence uh, yeah so yeah yes yeah adolescence means uh, go to a psychologist not the psychiatrist uh, go to a clinical psychologist or a psychologist and go for a therapist and it is uh, without having medicines okay no need to have medicines please go no don't go for medicines for the ocd in the beginning stage most of the people don't know many cases are coming in me where uh, people are uh, going to a psychiatrist and having medicines uh, say, uh, sleeping pills for it okay they don't know how to cure it okay they are giving uh, this medicines and this person is becoming sleepy but the ocd is not cured so what you have to do is that go for a, for a consultation you can use that mental health care la mha go for a screening test and ha- take an appointment and go for it with your child that is a better option for you okay don't take the t- uh, tips on the googles everything won't work out every individual is unique allah has made every person is unique so uh, take that one some advantage will be there some positivity should, should be there take that one and uh, talk with your child and let him uh, ready for the change inshallah inshallah ah I don't see any further questions so jazakumullah khairan uh, brother fazil for giving us all the strategies and how to overcome so this not only educated me but I also learned a lot so that I can identify the issues with others and also teach uh, some some more people also this uh, video will be there in youtube for will be there for quite some time so that if anyone wants to benefit from it then they can and i we hope and we pray to allah subhanahu wa taala that this uh, corona pandemic will go away and we will return back to normal and also we sh- do should not forget to make dua for all the people who are vulnerable and suffering through the hardship and abuse on a daily basis due to the change in life situation and which this pandemic has you know exacerbated and made it like a big uh, also jazakum wa khairan for all the volunteers and the crew who helped us support this to make this event online uh, special thanks to brother um, khader uh, sister sara and uh, sister balvina uh, with no further so, question thank you all for joining wa- this wa- 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 w
Amin. Jazakallahu khairan kaseera. Thank you thank you viewers. Thank you. Thank you Balbina. Thank you Sara. Thank you Jazakallahu khairan.